by the way, remember this exercise that we did where we pretended to have a picture that was stored on our computer and we had to create this script to read through our data and add a space or a blank if there's a zero and if there's a one to add a star which gave us a little Christmas tree. And although we've been using the REPL up until now, at the end of the day, all Python code, whether you're writing Python for games, whether you're writing Python for scripts to read your Excel spreadsheets, or maybe you're using Python to do some machine learning. At the end of the day, all we're doing is, well, we're writing a program and then this program gets run by a machine, something like this. Here I have a one.py file that I've just created. And in here, as you can see, we have our script that we had in our REPL. But I've just created it on my computer. It's one.py. I can name it whatever I want. And usually a way a program runs, again, any type of Python program, any type of programming language. We can use something like our terminal. If you're on a Mac, you can use the terminal. Or if you have a Linux-based machine, you can use the terminal as well. Or if you're on a Windows computer, using the command prompt or the PowerShell. So that here, if I wanted to run the one.py file, I make sure that my present working directory is where my file exists, which is on my desktop. Remember that on Windows, you'd say directory or DIR to find out what your present working directory is. Once you're in the same directory, remember if you're not, you can CD into different locations to get to where the file is. And then we run the file by saying Python. In our case three, again, based on whatever interpreter you want to use, and just say one.py. And there you go. Our graphical user interface of displaying a tree is working. And although this is a simple example, that's all code is. Code is being run by a machine like this. We just say, hey, run this Python file or multiple files through the Python interpreter. And the machine is going to do something we created a Christmas tree generator. So that's what the machine does. But the machine can do anything. It can build games and run games. It can do machine learning models. It can do visuals. It can simply send emails to your friends. The possibilities are endless. And we'll explore those topics in our projects coming up in the course.